Eden, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. That's my pleasure. Oh, my <laughs> pleasure. We are here for the CBC Upfronts. We're talking about your new show, but I have to tell you, I've been doing interviews throughout this afternoon, and I've been hearing, as I just heard, the most infectious laugh I have ever heard. Where did you ever get that from? I have the quiet laugh in my family. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look, are we going to get that kind of laughter too with this new show? Because it's like a dark comedy, yeah. sort of spiritual mystery. Yeah. There's so many different elements to it. Yes. Uh, well, you know, my, my humor is usually quite dark. Mm -hmm. So Son of a Trickster is as light as I get. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you've got people's ears going, what are they talking about? What is Trickster? Uh, trickster, uh, the, the original Trickster uh, is We Get. Or the Heisla original. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is the series about? Uh, the series is about, uh, it follows his one of his sons. Mm -hmm. He's got about 572 kids. <laughs> You're serious? <laughs> I'm serious. Jared is Baby Boy 372. Uh, and the series follows, uh, the first season follows uh, the first book of the trilogy, uh, Son of a Trickster. Uh, and if it goes to second, the second one will follow the second book, Trickster Draft. Uh, so, so Jared is, uh, he's growing up in northern BC uh, in, a, in a company town. And the company his father worked for went under, it kind of decimated their family. So as we enter the story, uh, he's you know trying to keep his family together by having all these side hustles. And uh, one of the side hustles in the books is that he was selling pot cookies. Uh, but once it became legal, <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> they kind of had to bump it up a bit, uh, so now he's selling Molly. <laughs> oh my goodness. But there's a mysterious stranger in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, uh, and in in the novel, there's uh, there's a slow bell to revealing that there's much more to the world than he's ever suspected. And the same thing happened in the two scripts that I saw. Like, you, you got flashes of extreme weirdness and uh, kind of creepy, and uh, so the supernatural world is being introduced in uh, the same way. So where is this going to be filmed? Is this filmed, like, what part of Canada? Uh, the, the, some of the location shots are going to be in Kitimat, uh, where, the, where, where the novel Son of a Trickster is set, uh, but most of it's going to be filmed in northern Ontario. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Is it gonna be, is it tough to adapt um, a book? And when you you know how when you read, you can pick up things for yourself, yeah, which you can find funny or scary or whatever else. Is it, is it tough to adapt that to the screen to make sure that those still elements are still part of all this? Uh, it's an immense challenge, and uh, I, I I wrote the novels, but I when we were in the initial talks, I made it very clear that I have no interest in writing for TV. <laughs> I wrote for, I try to adapt my novel, Monkey Beach, for into a screenplay and discovered that A, you know, I didn't like it and B, I was really bad at it. <laughs> But how? But how is it? But you said you saw the two scripts. How yeah, is it looking so far? Yeah, it's looking really good. Um, they're they're doing an amazing job. Um, but from from that experience, I learned what you have to do to adapt a book. Like it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, and what I saw in the first two scripts was actually quite amazing. Like they've captured the essence of like all of Jared's relationships. Uh, the one I was you know, uh, looking for the most was the one with his mother. <laughs> Don't say another word. We'll leave it to that. We'll leave it to that. Any chance you're going to be on screen? Uh, if I do, it'll be a very brief cameo. I, I, I also don't like acting. <laughs> you're doing a good job on this camera. What are you hoping that fans are going to get from this when they finally get a chance to see the series? Uh, well, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, there's, there's not a lot of, you know, uh, of our stories in the mainstream. So I'm hoping to be, like, this will be a part of the, the wave of indigenous entertainment that's coming. Like, there's, you know, there's, it's just exploding everywhere. And I'm so happy that, uh, you know, the series is going to be a part of it.
Well, you know what? I don't want to, you know, jinx anything or whatever, <laughs> but why do I have this feeling when we are definitely talking again, it's going to be at the Canadian Screen Awards Aww. on a red carpet. Congratulations thank on getting you. this up going, thank and you. thank you for that laugh. I love Aww, you. Aw, thank you. You have to meet my Uncle Robbie. Huh? <laughs> I can't wait for that. I want to hear the whole family. Thank you again. Thank you. <laughs>